Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good whatevers. Welcome back, everybody, and I hope you've been having a wonderful time. Today, we have our very own lake to play around with. This is called Among the Ripples and it's a free game you can get on Steam. I have also linked it in the, in the uh, description below. So what is Among Ripples? Simply, it's a leak simulator. You control the wildlife, the algae, what happens and what goes on. You can spawn new fish days a days. Small fish would like to live off algae. You do that by just clicking down here. You can also, by clicking and dragging, increase the oxygen content. More oxygen, the less algae. Less oxygen, and you get a little bit more algae. So let's just pop it in there. Just under halfway. Background, as you can see, is all hand painted. I left alone the days of simply just swim around, hopefully, eat the algae down there, get ourselves a little bit bigger. See the algae levels go down, and have spawned some new fish. So the more fish there are, as you can see, the algae levels are going down. And obviously, the more algae there is, the more fish can be fed less algae and you might start to find that the fish die off. However, this isn't all we can do. There's more than just days. You can see actually, I think it's turning autumn. Colours look a little bit more red or is that just me? The seasons do change in this. We can see now plenty of days. But we want to make sure this is a good ecosystem. So you can always add in some larger fish. Let's put a couple of perch in. These are bigger fish and what they do is keep the oh rather they'll eat the dace to stop them from overwhelming themselves and taking away all the algae. As you can see algae is very low there. As you can see the taste will eat where they need to eat, so the, the perch will eat, but what happens is that the leftover bits of the fish fog to the bottom and they'll start to cause a mess. You can see the silt and mud increasing down the bottom here. So we'll need to add in 
some clams as they will start to then eat the or, or rather filter rather the water making it a bit clearer you can see now it's turning to winter but unfortunately there's no dead fish at the bottom so what we can do is release some crawfish or crayfish and they'll clean up the debris off the bottom as you can see there now they will eat clams as well so you will need to keep your eyes on them now how's our perch doing? this perch looks like he's struggled a bit Fortunately, it's gotten smaller. Meanwhile, the days have gotten larger. So what else can we do? Well, if the perch, and he's actually come back, are starting to get a little bit too over-aggressive. As you can see, we're starting to lose a lot of our days. We can send out a pike or a barracuda. And he'll keep the population down. Oh my, he's quite a large one. I'm not sure if he actually feeds on anything else or just the perch. You can see that actually the perch have uh, laid some eggs and we should see a couple spawn there. Fortunately, the last perch has just died. Now, said the uh, pike will only eat perch. But now we've only got one perch. So we've come to a little bit of a struggle with our life here. We're losing dace. We're losing perch. And now you'll probably find is that the uh, barracuda or pike, I think it's a pike. Um, I'm not sure as said if he will eat the uh, perch or not. For days. Our clams are doing well though. Down here. Do well I think. I think we'll maybe need to get another crayfish out. As you can see we've now got some more dace eggs down there. So you want to have a continuous cycle where everybody is living relatively harmoniously. Keeping the life cycle of this river going. And for that we need the apex predator of the lake and that my friends is an otter uh, the otter will keep everything under control my that is a big big pike there I believe the otter will eat the pike if it's a certain size. I think it might be a little bit too big at the moment for the otter. You can see the uh, crayfish there now. 
keeping the clams under control and our otter friend has now eaten the pike. Now nothing will eat the otter. In fact what happens is that the otter, uh, if he's not healthy or the leak cannot be sustained, he will just simply leave. So let's just watch and see how they do. The otters currently fed. So I don't think he'll be attacking the pike to have a wee nibble anytime soon. It's all about creating a continual cycle of life. If anything gets out of control, then potentially the balance is upset and you'll start to find everything dies off and then our happy little otter will scarper off to another lake. There's no challenges other than this. It's simply a little lesson in how life works. You can actually see now down the bottom that the crayfish have eaten all the clams. Looks like having two out there was maybe not the best idea, at least not until we had the otter who was able to pick one or two of them off there. So what was starting to happen is that the silt and debris at the bottom of the sea will start to fill up and in turn this means that the dace won't have anywhere to lay their eggs. They'll die off, the crayfish will die off eventually the pike will have nothing to eat and it'll die off and then you'll be left with just an otter. The cycle will keep going. You can see the, the silt, sand, the muck starting to build up. It's a wonderfully hand painted. I suppose it's a game in the loosest, ter loosest terms. It's got a relaxing soundtrack, some nice sound effects as well there. You're now starting to see the side effects. The otter will always be able to eat something as long as there's something in it. The crayfish there though will eventually die off. can see the otter getting a little bit smaller as he gets hungry. He's not really able to 
penetrate the dark silk at the bottom there and you can't find the crayfish. The days, however, are remarkably able to just keep going. They've laid some fresh eggs. I would expect the otter would start to eat the days now. I can't see the crayfish anymore. I think he's sadly passed away. Well, you can see among the bulls there a life in a lake simulator completely free and that's our otter moved on the days are left but they eventually will be left with a lake of dirt dust silk and slime. Look after this world. It's the only one we've got. Thanks very much everybody. Take care and have a great day now.